This is how every woman acts after they get a bob cut. Huh? You said something? You talking to me? Huh? <laughs> Anyways, get into this wig, you guys. Look how beautiful that is. I just wanted to give you guys a real quick preview of what's to come. So I have my niece here, and you guys haven't seen her in a while because she went ahead and got some dreads in her hair. And I don't really know. I can't put no braids in it. I can't do nothing. So today we're putting a wig on top of her dreads. So luckily her dreads aren't that long yet. So hopefully the wig doesn't turn out bulky or anything. So what I'm going to do is just twist her hair and pull it all the way to the back. And as you can tell, I'm just doing one at a time i'm not trying to braid it back or anything i'm just twisting one at a time i'm trying to make it as flat to her head as possible so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm just gonna sew the ends down because i really didn't know what to do with the ends so i figured let me just sew them together to keep them in place and that's what I'm doing. So now this wig that I previously previewed is from my first wigs. You guys know I've worked with them multiple times. That's because I actually like their wigs. I like the quality of the wigs. I don't know what that thing is that they gave me. It doesn't match my niece's hair, but I would really like to use it and see what it does. They also gave me a braid band, a wig cap, and some goodies, you know, some clips and a comb. But most importantly, they gave me a wig and it's a bob wig summer is around the corner and this is the look for the summer especially if you like to wear wigs the best thing to wear are bobs so now this hair is a yaki indian texture with natural color it's about 10 inches long and the lace front is 13 by 6. So now I want to basically detail you guys of how I achieved this look because the last video I did went completely viral. It's all over my Facebook and YouTube. And that's because I broke down to you guys um, how I achieved this same look. However, I ended up cutting the hair, cutting the wig. Today, I'm not cutting the wig. So I'm going to show you guys how to place the wig on your head. And if your head is too small for the wig and not cut it like I did in that previous video that went crazy. Uh, some of you guys agree, some didn't. However, you know... To each his own do your wig how you want to do it this is how i do it and today i'm just not gonna cut it because we don't want to cut it i want to show you how to put it on without having to do all that work so after i laid her edges back with some got to be glue um then i'm going to put a wig cap on and i'm just fitting her the wig right now to see how big is the wig on her head does it fit i'm cutting off that little extra tab that nobody knows what it's for because clearly like it's not a, a part of the lace <laughs> thing so i don't even know why they keep putting that on there but the first thing i want to do is basically match her complexion and i use the ruby kisses i really find it to be the easiest makeup to use to basically brush it onto the stocking cap so now i'm just cutting out the holes to her ear and then i'm gonna spray some got to be uh glued spray on it you guys already know you should know by now like how this goes but um i'm just freezing it and then now i'm gonna sew it down on her head and i'm going based on the first braid closest to her ear and i'm gonna go over and through as you can tell this is my method for sewing down it's really not hard it's really quick and it doesn't need to be too small because it's uh stitching it's gonna hold in place the cap is not gonna go anywhere so that is my method for sewing down The next step is removing the excess lace um, from the forehead and around the nape. And you want to frame it to her face, but also you're following the guidance of the got to be glue. So wherever that's sprayed, if it's not too deep into her forehead, you know, um, you just want to cut that off and 
just follow the guidance of the got to be glue when you were spraying the got to be glue you needed to spray it along her natural hairline anyway so once you start cutting off it should cover her natural hairline and i'm just going back in with the scissors because the eyebrow razor didn't really get as close as i needed it to get and now i'm just chopping off all the extra lace now i'm putting the wig on you guys and I really don't want to use any glue on this. I'm going to be using the got to be glue spray, but we're not going to be using any bond. And look how lovely that looks. That just already looks so natural and I haven't even cut the lace off yet. So I'm putting her to work. I'm going to have her hold the lace down and I'm going to try to slick it back. I'm not putting any heat to it. I'm not putting any baby hairs on this. It really does not need it. As you can see just from the earlier clip, like it looks really good. So now I'm just going to spray some got to be glued spray along her hairline. And then I'm going to use the band to just kind of hold it down and keep it on there for a few minutes so that the got to be glue uh, sticks to her head. And I'm basically just showing you guys because the company is my first wig, which means it's technically for people that are beginners. So their wigs come really easy to apply. It already comes pre-plucked, already comes uh, bleached. And it's really not much work to do to get the wig on. So if you are a beginner or an expert, because I really just really like how their wigs come but if you are a beginner, the, these wigs are perfect for you. And then their lace is HD lace. So everything is, is just great for someone that doesn't typically wear a wig and want to try it. But also great for people that do wear wigs. And um, the tab around her ear came up. So I'm just going to spray that again one more time and put the band on it again just so that it stays in place. That's the difficulty about not using glue is that sometimes the got to be glue just, you know, it's easy to come off because it's not a, a strong fix like the glue is. So now I'm going to sew the hair down. And like I said, the last time I did a video like this on her with a bob, I ended up cutting all the excess stuff. This time, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to find where her, bra her dread braids are. And I'm going to sew the wig on top of them. And as you can see, it's not perfectly placed on her head or it's the wig is much bigger than her head so i'm basically feeling for her braids and i'm going in and sewing the wig down to her braids the braids that are closest to her ear that is what i'm sewing down now i could have lifted up the wig on the side and the back and sewed it down that way which would have been much easier but of course i have to pick, pick the most difficult way to sew it down however each way works so now that i'm at the back i want to adjust the band that comes with the wig this is going to ensure that the lace is tight down on her head because I did not glue it down. So I want it to be a little snug. And now I'm just going to pull the wig down some to the back of her braids, where her braids end at the back. And I'm going to sew that down. I'm doing that. I pulled it down because I don't want the wig to lift up off her head and make it look too wiggy. Her, she already has dreads under them, so it's already lifting a little bit. However, to avoid it lifting even more, you want to just make it a little snug by pulling it down and braiding um, a row where her braids end. So now I'm just going to go in and make her cute. You know, just flat iron it out. You don't want to put too much curve in it when you're doing a bob. You just want it kind of like a little 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 swoopy
and this hair texture feels so good it's a yakky texture but it really just feels like a natural like a black girl hair that got flat ironed or straightened like if you straighten your natural hair that's how this hair feels and if you got close in on it you can actually see that it's a little bit textured as well So there was a little excess hair at the back. I went ahead and cut that off. Combing it out. And now this is the finished look, you guys. The hair does look natural. I love how I didn't need to put any baby hairs there. And I'm just brushing it back and showing you guys how it looks. All the information for this wig will be in the description, you guys. So if you are interested, it's almost summertime. And you guys know y'all want them bobs. Y'all want to be shaking it, asking who, what, where. <laughs> Just like that is how y'all going to be all day. So all the information will be in the description for this wig. Again, it's from my first wig. And it's their Yaki um, style. So... I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.